and we, we're struggling you know, globally, we're struggling to attract people to study accounting uh, and to enter the profession. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, we are trying to figure out both from our st- stance as, a, as an international organization, but also all of our members are trying to figure out, um, you know, how do we get more young people to want to enter mm-hmm. Uh, a career uh, in accountancy. And one of the things that's quite frustrating for us, um, you know, if any of your audience uh, follows what the World Economic Forum puts out, they have this, this sort of um, a report that looks at, looks at uh, some of the jobs that are most likely to, you know, get replaced soon. Yeah. And they constantly, they just did it again. They put, you know, yes. accounting is one of them. Yeah. Um, and we really fundamentally disagree because what we're saying is that actually the demand for accountancy professionals is yeah. is outstripping supply and we're needing to get more um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, people to qualify so but it's a problem when a young person looks and sees well yeah. oh accounting accounting is going to be replaced by technology the the truth is that our what we bring in our, our skill set is is so uh, yeah. actually so advanced and so and and, and such a deep level of knowledge and a, and a deep level of strategic thinking and, and critical thinking um, that Yes, AI and things like that can help us, and technology has helped us for for many decades. And as things move along with new tools, we adapt and we learn how to use them to do our job even yeah. better. Yeah. Um, but accountants aren't getting replaced; they, they they're yeah. just increasing in number uh, the the need. Like, and yeah. so that what's expected of you know if you're going to qualify as as an accountant is is you know the expectations are going to be higher for yeah. certain, um, and we need to make sure that as a profession we're responsive to that. Um, but the opportunities and and the 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 areas where we're getting involved in something like sustainability, a whole new space, really new, you know, um, understanding how financial information interacts with mm-hmm. with information about your impact on the climate or, or on um, on society, um, you know, this is supposed to drive decision making and and yeah. how you know can you. This is it. Really takes that 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 human touch to be able to do that, and, and a person with the right skills and competence uh, to be able to advise businesses on their decision making, to advise investors, um, to provide assurance over that kind of information. Are you kind of saying the understanding or the belief is that the profession is is kind of not as attractive to people anymore, be, be, mainly because of the fear of um, obsolescence. That's like we think big, that's a big part of it. Um, when I hear people talk about, you know, accountants being obsolete, in reality, for the most part, um, bookkeepers are more what they're talking about, you know, where, yeah. you know, accounting systems are, you know, pulling bank statements, you know, straight from the bank, processing journals, that are all the rest of this. So a lot of the basic processing but people who make those comments don't understand or don't really seem to have exposure to the types of things that society is actually requiring of their accountants at the moment. It's not, it's not the number crunching, you know, yeah. it's, um, yeah. it's the thinking, it's the decision making, it's the interpretation, it's the application, it's the problem solving. Um, and that is, you know, something that, you know, systems are very far away from being able to, you know, to be able yeah. to do. In, in that sense so i i agree with you i always see these things on um uh on lists as well and i'm like sorry i don't yeah. i don't i don't see it <laughs> yeah i mean it does it does depend on the journey the individual takes as well i mean so if yeah. you if you think that the fact that you can get a cash flow statement to balance or that you can you know prepare a beautiful balance sheet um if that's the skill set you bring to the table then yes yeah, sorry that's actually already done by technology yeah. so it's good that you know that but you're gonna have to fit that's you know and you do we all need to, as accountants to know those basics yeah. know what the system's doing that's but um yeah that's, that's literally step one you you know it's it's then what happens after that why does that information matter and how does that mm-hmm. drive decision making um yeah. that that becomes so important so you know I, I do also you know think that any accountant who just qualifies and thinks they're done um, you know, is is really getting it wrong. Like, well, you're, really. if you qualify as a CA, CPA, or you know, if you qualify through ACCA, or whoever you do, that's the beginning. That's the start of your learning journey. You know, and that may be a little Sorry, bit scary yeah. for those of you who've been <laughs> doing studying at university for ages and struggling with exams. Um, learning changes. It's it's no longer about you know trying to pass the exam. It's really about yeah. you know developing competence and, and developing in the ability to do the, do the job. I'm I'm convinced that the best way to kind of you know future proof your career is to is to pair up 
something like accounting with with something else you know so for you and me it's 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 been education predominantly um but but for others it might be it might be some kind of it focus it might be something on sustainability it it might be something on a particular sector like healthcare or or mm-hmm. banking or you know whatever it might be you know maybe you become a fraud examiner in addition in addition to being an accountant whatever it is just pair up your skill you get an extra if that means getting an extra qualification do it you know um if that means trying to trying to take jobs that take you in a particular direction so that you can learn about a particular industry and become an expert in that, um, then 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 do that. But you know, it's it's really hard for a computer to to join dots. I, I know AI is starting to do it to some extent, but but still it's really hard for a computer to say pair up the skill of of um preparing financial statements. Um, with the ability to analyze, I don't know, um, societal impact, um, or you know, or to figure out, you know, how to how to you know keep the hospital running that that you know <laughs> that that you're working at, um, and and making sure that medicine's provided at the right time. Like that's like yes, technology can help, but yeah. somebody's going to have to ask the technology the right question. Somebody's going to have to actually you know deploy that tool. Um, and there's a know, level yeah. of there's a level of professional judgment that you almost can't explain. But yes. can't be, you know, I know, you know, in the teaching space, for example, is also there's a lot of like chat GPT is going to make me obsolete, yes. you know, or um, like, for example, you know, some some lecturers have kind of mentioned that to me. And, I, you know, the fact that students, there's so much information, yes. there's so much information about absolutely everything. And yet students are still paying for lectures and they're still paying for tutors and they're still paying for stuff. Why? Because what they're missing is how does this affect me? Can yeah. you help me? So, yeah, you know, a student can watch 50 million hours of a certain topic online. You know, there's no limit to the amount of tutorials that they'll get on YouTube, for example. But yeah. if they come to me, I can take, you know, one look at a question that they've done and go, oh, okay, I can see where your thinking has gone wrong. Yeah. A computer can't do that, you yeah. know, like, so, so yeah, I think there's, there's a lot of misunderstanding or there's a, there's a very narrow perspective on, um, what obsolescence, you know, how obsolescence is going to happen or, or how it's going to affect different professions. And, and I have to agree with you. I don't see the accounting profession as I see it at these levels. I don't see that. I don't see that being obsolete. I see it becoming yeah. more important. 